Hi everyone, I'm your chemistry teacher, Terhi Kokkonen. You learn chemistry starting from the basics in my online classes. As we are in Finland, you are also supposed to learn basic chemistry key terms in Finnish. In this lesson, make sure that you learn these key terms in English and in Finnish. It might be a good idea to translate them into your own native language first. Kemia, luonnontiede, kaastumus, kiinteä, nestenestemäinen, kaasu, kaasumainen, organinen, epäorganinen. Chemistry Kemia is the study of matter, aine, the stuff that makes up the physical universe. It attempts to explain how and why matter interacts and changes as it does. Chemists, chemistit, study the composition, structure, properties and reactions of matter. A chemical reaction Chemialinen reaktio is a transformation of one or more substances into one or more different substances. As chemistry seeks to understand the properties of matter, how materials behave and how to make new and useful chemical compounds, chemistry gives us tools to make new materials tailored to our needs. Chemistry is concerned with the utilization of natural substances and the creation of artificial ones. The chemical industry, kemian teollisuus, plays a significant role in the world economy. The chemical industry in Finland covers oil, gas and petrochemical industry process industry, that is basic chemical industry, and product industry, like pharmaceutical industry, plastic and rubber industry, cosmetics and detergents, paint industry. The chemical sector is one of the most important industrial sectors in Finland. Chemistry plays an essential role in providing new solutions to global problems. For example, fighting climate change, ilmaston modus, and advancing disease prevention involve chemistry. In everyday life, you do chemistry when you cook, when you use cleaning detergents, or when you take medicine. Chemistry, chemia, and physics, physica, have a lot in common. Physics and chemistry are both experimental sciences. They are empirical. Empirical means testable. Scientific knowledge is empirical, that is, it is based on observation and experiment. Scientists observe and perform experiments on the physical world to learn about it. Some observations and experiments are qualitative, but many are quantitative. Määrällisiä. Määrällinen, quantitative, means measuring something about the process. Physics and chemistry use tools from mathematics and convert information about nature into measurements, mittaukset, so they can be seen as exact mathematical sciences. Chemistry and physics are branches of science that both study matter, aine, and energy, energia. Matter 
ayin may be defined as that which occupies space and possesses weight. The fundamental laws that control the behavior of matter apply to both chemistry and physics. Energy is the ability to do work. Energia on kyky tehdä työtä. So, physics and chemistry are two sciences related in close way, and it is not easy to make precise distinction between them. In a general way, it may be said that although both physics and chemistry are concerned with matter and energy, they differ in approach. The study of chemical reactions, chemialiset reaktiot, lies at the heart of chemistry. Chemistry focuses on how substances interact with each other and with energy. Physical changes are changes affecting the form of substance, but not its chemical composition, kostumus. Chemical changes involve chemical reactions and the creation of new products. Typically, a chemical change is irreversible. In contrast, physical changes do not form new products and are reversible. It is a familiar fact that water, vesi, is changed into steam, höru, by heating. The chemist can show, however, that water and steam have exactly the same composition. The molecules in water are less free to move than the molecules in steam. But still they are both composed of the same substances in the same proportion. Hence, the change from water into steam is a physical change. Changes in the state of matter, such as boiling, kiehuminen, or melting, sulaminen, are always physical changes. Many other substances may under suitable conditions, be changed from solids into liquids or from liquids into gases without change in composition. The three states, solid, liquid and gas, kiinteä, neste, kaasu, are called the three physical states of matter. Aineen fysikaaliset olomuodot. Olomuodo, state, olomuodot, states. In solid matter, atoms or molecules pack close to each other in fixed locations. A solid consists of particles that are in contact and unable to move past one another. Although the atoms and molecules in a solid vibrate, they do not move around or past each other. Consequently, a solid has a fixed volume and rigid shape. A liquid is a fluid form of matter that possesses a well-defined surface and, in a gravitational field, fills the lower part of the container it occupies. A liquid consists of particles that are in contact but are able to move past each other in a restricted manner. The particles are in a continuous state of motion but travel only a fraction of the diameter before bumping into a neighbor. As atoms or molecules pack about as closely as they do in solid matter, but are free to move 
relative to each other. Liquids have a fixed volume, but not a fixed shape. A gas is a fluid form of matter that fills the container it occupies. A gas is composed of widely separated particles in continuous, rapid, disordered motion. A particle travels several diameters before colliding with another particle. For most of the time, the particles are so far apart that they interact with each other only very weakly. Gases always assume the shape and volume of the container. As atoms or molecules have a lot of space between them and are free to move relative to one another, gases are compressible. Changes that alter the composition of matter are called chemical changes. How do you know if the composition of the substance has been changed? Usually this can be answered by a study of the properties of the substance before and after the change, since a change in composition is attended by a change in properties. Changes involving chemical reactions, often evidenced by heat exchange or color changes, are chemical changes. Iron, rauta, when exposed to moist air, is gradually changed into rust, ruoste, which is entirely different from the original iron. When iron rusts, rauta ruostu, the iron atoms combine with oxygen atoms to form a different chemical substance, the compound iron oxide. Rusting, ruostuminen, is therefore a chemical change and the tendency of iron to rust is a chemical property. There are many branches of chemistry. The main branches are considered to be organic chemistry and inorganic chemistry. Organic chemistry, organinen chemia, deals with complex chemical compounds that contain carbon, heli, an element considered to be essential to life, elana. All molecules that make up living tissue have carbon as part of their makeup. Organic compounds form the basis of all life, elama, and constitute the maturity of known chemicals. Due to carbon's ability to form chains with other carbon atoms, millions of organic compounds are known. The modern meaning of organic compounds are any molecules that are composed of the element carbon. So many of the organic compounds known today have no connection to any substance found in living organisms. Most plastics are organic synthetic compounds. The study of inorganic compounds is known as inorganic chemistry, epaorganinen chemia. Inorganic chemistry covers all chemical compounds except those carbon-based organic compounds. Even some simple compounds that contain carbon are often considered inorganic. 
Describing a chemical as inorganic does not necessarily mean that it does not occur within living things. Water, vesi, is an inorganic compound. It contains oxygen and hydrogen. It cannot be organic as it doesn't contain any carbon. Water is vital for all known forms of life. It is the main constituent of the fluids of all known living organisms, but it is an inorganic compound. Many inorganic compounds are ionic compounds. Salt, suolat. Metals form an enormous number of inorganic compounds. Acids that do not contain carbon are known as inorganic acids. Bases that do not contain carbon are known as inorganic bases. Now I ask you to take a little test in Moodle. Also, write a little about how chemistry affects your everyday life. Do not just copy and paste. Write using your own words. Have a nice day. Bye. Mukava päivän jatkoa. Heippa.